Hello guys, Luna here and welcome back to another update video. The latest update for PUBG console, update 12.2 just went live and includes a whole bunch of new changes including a new map, new vehicles and new weapons and a whole bunch more. I'm going over the entire list of changes in the patch notes so let's jump straight into it. A new 8x8 map called Tego has been added. Tego has diverse terrain and environments with numerous towns, compounds and unique points of interest across the battleground. Be on the lookout for wildlife, with flocks of birds reacting to player movement and gunfire, giving you a potentially early sign of danger ahead. Tego is available as the featured map, playable in third person and first person perspective, solo and quads, and includes one man squad modes as well, but duos are not an option on the map. Play with up to 100 players, the weather is set to clear, and there is no red zone. Tego is also available in custom matches. However, to go with this, there are also a couple of unique features, starting with Comeback BR. This is a Tego exclusive second chance mechanic, allowing players who died during the first blue zone phase the chance to drop back into the fight later in the match. Players who died during the first blue zone phase battle it out in the Comeback Arena, a location separate from the main Tego battleground. Survivors who remain alive long enough in the Comeback Arena are transported by helicopter back to the Tego mainland in Phase 3 to resume their fight for that chicken dinner. There's also a new mechanic called Self AED. Similar to Comeback BR, the Self AED is another Tego exclusive second chance mechanic, giving players another opportunity to stay in the fight. The Self AED is a world loot item that players can use to revive themselves when down but not out without the need of a teammate, but it can also be used in solos as well. Now other than the new map, there's also several new items to go with it. First, the K2, a world spawn 556 caliber assault rifle popularized in the 80s and 90s when Tego is set. Firing in a single burst or full auto, this versatile weapon is only available on Tego in normal and custom matches, but it's also available in team deathmatch. And you can see the stats for the weapon on the screen, along with the second new weapon, the MK-12. This is a new hard-hitting high-velocity 556 caliber DMR this time, exclusive to Tego. And again, it's found in world loot across the map in normal and custom matches, but it's also found in team deathmatch. Tego also has its own unique car. Hyundai's first concept car, the Pony Coupe, has arrived in PUBG, featuring an all-wheel drive design for enhanced control across the diverse terrain of the battlegrounds. It has a thousand horsepower, goes 150 kilometers per hour, and it has four seats as well. Although due to the car's design, backseat passengers can't fire their weapons. Next, a new battle pass or survivor pass themed on Tego has been released and I'm not going to go into too much detail on the actual cosmetics that you will get but there are some changes to the actual battle pass system in this update. So survivor pass level update tickets purchase method has been changed. Level up tickets can be purchased in units of one level in the survivor pass page after upgrading the survivor pass to premium. Level up coupons are applied at the time of purchase and can only be purchased until reaching level 50. And after reaching level 50, you can only level up with XP obtained through missions or gameplay. They've prepared a bonus reward for players who reach level 50. Players who reach level 50 and upgrade the survivor pass to premium can go further level up and receive bonus rewards such as medals, emblems and G-coin. And you can also purchase the survivor pass Tego weapon and level pack where you will get the car 98 skin and 30 levels. And in case you're wondering, the pass runs from July 15th until August the 26th. Next, a new shop unique for each player has been added. Your shop can even include items not currently available in the regular store. And when your shop is open, you'll see a prompt on the main menu to enter and view your personalized discounted items in your own personalized shop. Be sure to check that out when the shop reopens as available items and their discount rates vary each time. The shop is an ongoing feature coming to the game, but it's not going live until July 28th. Next, item spawn increase. There's been an increase in item spawns because of player feedback to several of the maps. Erangel's loot has increased by 23.9%, Miramar loot has increased by 28.3%, and Sandhawk loot has increased by 16.5%, Vikendi's loot has increased by 28.4%. To custom matches, new vehicles and weapons have been added to custom matches alongside the latest map Tego. So the exclusive weather setting has been added, Tego's new items have been added, and the quad has been added. To training mode, new weapons and the quad have been added as well. So the quad, 
the Lynx AMR, the K2 and the MK12 will be available. Added a soccer field with three soccer balls to training mode and the Uzi has been moved as well to the pistol table. The team emotes. They've added new features and improved the team emote feature originally introduced in update 10.3. The organizer can now use emotes alone. When teammates join the team emote, the emote begins at the same time instead of participating mid emote. Activate the emote using the emote wheel or shortcut key and then activate the standby action. Teammates can join during the standby and use the emote wheel, interaction key and shortcut key to start and then activate the emote action. When alone, only your character plays the emote and when teammates participate, the same emote action is activated. Available while in the lobby and during matches and since there is no standby action in the store and pass preview, only the emote action is activated. The new Cataclysmic Magma Contraband crate is now available, excluding the progressive weapon skins. Cataclysm Magma Contraband crate includes the Cataclysmic Magma M416, SKS, the Sea Beast Mosin Nagant, the Gilded Depth K2, Barracuda Vector, and a whole bunch of other things as well. User interface and user experience improvements, starting with observer features. Player stats user interface has been improved, Title is now categorized by stats and changed the order of ranking and value. Name layout user interface added effect when looting healing and boost items. Vertical line is added between the primary and secondary weapons. The damage indicator user interface added effect to the first damage indicator and increased range of the affected area. Also top four user interface height was adjusted, added an effect when stun grenades are used by a player while watching in spectator mode and they've also improved the HUD. Lastly, there is also a whole bunch of bug fixes which are hopefully on screen now. That then is all of the changes in today's PUBG console update, including patch notes and new map details. Guys, if you want to see straight to the point update videos for all the biggest shooter games, no clickbait, no 10 minute videos of the same info over and over, just official news and updates as they happen no matter how big or small, then subscribe and help to grow the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next update. Okay, bye.